Now who born this finger? Yeah, yeah. Now who born this finger? Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Buchi, and if you're new to this channel, you are welcome. So, um, as you guys have noticed, or maybe you haven't noticed, I have changed my name from Buchi XOXO to Buchi Yuan Widow. I decided to just slap my last name on there, just so it just, you know, it makes it more mature, more me. You know, you know what I mean? So. Let's just jump right into this video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the healing process because like you guys saw in my birth and delivery, labor and delivery story, I had a cesarean section. I had to go for an emergency C-section and healing from that was brutal. It was mad and i was on the whole tip that i don't want to take any painkillers because whatever i consume the baby consumed obviously because i was breastfeeding i didn't want him to be getting all these medications that i'm pumping into my body so i basically refused a lot of the painkillers that was given to me at the hospital when i got home i still till today i haven't even had tylenol Advil, any of that stuff. I'm not taking anything because once again, breastfeeding full time, I need him to be as clean from all this medication as I can. Also, seeing that the fact that I got antibiotics when I was in labor and when he came out, he got the side effects. He had thrush all over his mouth. If you guys don't know what thrush is, just go Google it. It's so yucky to look at. It's just your baby's mouth is contaminated. It was bad very very nasty but now he's clean and fresh and everything so yeah i refused medication so i was in a lot of pain i was in a lot of pain but i would say the doctor that did my delivery awesome dr prasad she is amazing i actually gave birth to my son at brampton civic in brampton <laughs> so scrap all the stuff that you heard the maternity section it's actually pretty good the nurses they are so caring they're loving i haven't experienced it anywhere else but they're actually very attentive i only had one bad nurse and let's just let's not talk about her so first things first i once i got home okay let's talk about the hospital before i get home when i i was in the hospital there was these medications that i had to take but after i figured out that they were painkillers i kind of like rejected the last couple ones so um what was it i don't know the exact names let me tell you the medical field is not my forte all right um once the epidural wore out my whole body literally felt like i was ran over by a truck then picked up and healed you know and then i was thrown into this thing that was just slicing my belly constantly and that's how the pain <laughs> was okay so um standing up was was brutal basically i had to get up slowly because if i get up too fast i can get high blood pressure from the nurse that's what they told me and obviously the pain from trying to get up it would literally something that now if i'm laying down and i want to get up i do like a full and i'm up it took me sometimes at least three to five minutes to stand up properly because the pain and my pain tolerance is really low so the pain was really bad i would literally take so long because every movement and look it felt like i was being sliced over and over and over again so i had to be very gentle um once you get a, a c-section you're cut deep right you're stitched and they put a band-aid over you and they put another band-aid over that band-aid so when i was at the hospital they took the first band-aid which they call dressing they took that out and they cleaned the areas checked if i was pussing out or whatever and left the other band-aid on couple i think the after the first week of being home i had to go meet the doctor that made the incision and did my delivery dr prasad i had to go to her and she took out the last the last one i was told to take a shower first because at first i couldn't take any shower just so that the thing is protected you know at the hospital you have the one that's over the actual um band-aid you have that one and that's waterproof but when i got home i just had the regular one so if i was to take a shower i had to be careful not to get it too wet or whatever or um for the first couple of days and then i had to like start taking regular showers before my appointment just so like it's loosened up and it's not 
still like stuck on my body it's easy to come off so the day before my appointment I had taken a very long shower and I made sure that I focused the water over there just so when she's yanking it it's not too hard of a pull for me and it hurts so she did that and well I did that scrubbing it rubbing it you know trying to get it as loose as I could and when I got there she literally held my hand and said this might hurt and let's just count one to one to three and I yank so she holds my hands one two three pulls it up so once that's done she cleaned the area she kind of did like a little poking to make sure that there's nothing like hard inside I don't know the word like I'm just telling you in layman's term because your girl does not know the main terms okay so she started poking around to make sure everything was cool and everything was great everything was great and um she told me to put polysporin on it and also be careful like take my time getting up and not rushing everything so when i would sit down i would have to sit at the edge of the the couch just so that it's an easy transition for me so if i'm getting up from the couch i'm literally like coming up from the tip of the couch not like if i'm sitting way back i would have to literally like try to pull myself forward so first thing that i did is i always made sure that i took a little like um warm cloth and i wipe twice a day i wipe it with the warm cloth i sometimes i use a little detail in the water just just my preference i wanted to put that i dip the towel i squeeze it out and i I wipe it and then I take the polysporin and I rub it all over and yeah I have to do that twice a day and she said if I do that it helps heal faster and it also kind of helps with the line as well to me I still see my incision but I don't care to see it I love that I see it because it just it's a reminder for me all right so yeah it, it first things first it first not first things first but Taking care of my incision was pretty easy. It wasn't hard. So like, if you're thinking of like, oh, if I have a, if I have, um, if I'm giving birth and I want to have a C-section or I might have a C-section, first thing I would say is, trust me, you first you don't feel it. When I felt tugging. That's what all I felt, and that was it. That was all it is. It was nothing like they were sawing me. Like you feel like a slight like you feel that in a tug in but you don't feel the pain of it and taking care of it after it's not that much work to be honest you oh the other thing that i had to wear was big granny panties i had to stay away from underwear that would touch the incision i had to wear my big big ass underwear if i show you these underwear i went to walmart and bought this big ass fruit of the loom granny panties and trust me those things were so comfortable i didn't want to come off and like stop wearing them i still wear them till today because they were just so comfortable for me so that was all it is just the unattractive panties the wiping twice a day like cleaning the incision twice a day and also i'm um, putting polysporin and that's all that I did and it works and I don't feel pain sometimes I feel like a little like how would I I don't even I never have the word to describe it but it's not a pain sometimes it's kind of like a weird normal like not normal a weird itch and I just itch it and it's good to go I check I do what my doctor said kind of press it down if anything pusses I should call him and go in and do that and absolutely nothing has happened to me i am completely normal i'm gaining my strength once one day at a time you know trying to get back into my workouts and i am a-okay okay so that's the end of my video that's all i had to do to take care of my incision trust me pushing on a baby or getting c-section you still brought a human being into this world you are strong and you're brave and nobody could have done it but you okay that's your journey that you had to go through and be proud of however way you brought your little human into this world if you guys liked my video make sure you like comment and subscribe and share with your friend and make sure you keep commenting i'm loving the comments i love when you guys come into my videos and it just it just makes me feel good you know that you guys are actually watching the video and wanting to say something to me please leave the comment down below i love that you guys still come to me oh, ignore my nails by the way i i was just testing it out to see how long this would last but 
I love the fact that you guys um, message me to tell me that you liked the video and all this stuff but it also feels good to see the comments down below as well it also helps with algorithms if you guys know that make sure you like comment subscribe it's all free i'll see you guys in my next video bye Woo!